Today I will be restarting the NHL with a fantasy draft. I will then be picking 20 players to build my squadron, but the challenge is I must draft the players in alphabetical order. After all the picks are made, we will assemble the team in NHL 24 franchise mode and simulate through the season with the hopes of winning the Stanley Cup. It is time to find out whom we will be drafting for. It is the... Washington Capitals, let's go. Those are my boys. They made the playoffs. Are they going to get stomped? Very possibly. And the whole thing with Philly pulling their goalie, even though Detroit went into overtime because they didn't know they went into overtime. That was just nuts. But yeah, the Rangers Caps play their first game in a couple days here. Obviously, as of when I'm recording, definitely not true when this comes out. Series might be over by then. Hey, Jabroni, guess what? The answer is no. You won't be managing my team. We're going to get draft pick number 13. Unlucky number 13. So they say, wow. That was the closest I've been in a minute. For our first pick, definitely looking for an A, B, or a C. And there is a C staring me down. There is also a B in Barkov. But there's no way Crosby, I mean, neither of them will be there by the time our next pick comes around. So the question is, do I want Sydney the Kidney? Or do I want Sasha? They're both centers. Crosby's two overall better and making less, so I think that is going to weigh into my decision here. Plus, I, I want to do good. The drafts recently have been terrible. It is also hilarious to see Crosby in a Capitals uniform. Noah Dobson, I don't even know if I've ever drafted him, but fits perfectly right now, so you will be joining the Washington Capitals. So my current plan is to take Ekholm and then really just hope that Fial is still there. I think it's risky, but... It's one I'm willing to take. Come on, Fiala. Come on, Fiala. You gotta still be here. And he is. All right, that works out awesome. So far, so good. Things are going just swimmingly. I could take Giroux, and then I can go down and take Hannafin. Jumped the gun a little bit on that one. Hannafin is no longer available, but we do still have Huberto and Hall as options. You know what? I was gonna take Hall because of the salary difference, but no, changing things up. Let's go with Johnny Hubes. And that pick will be followed up by Kuzmenko. I should absolutely be taking a goalie next. Why do I keep doing this? Things just continue to fall in place for this draft. I did not expect it to go this smoothly, but Robin Leonard, literally the next letter in the alphabet. I'm trying to be careful with my gaps because trying to get a player with like X and Z, not going to be an easy time. Going to complete our goaltender tandem right now with Peter Mrazek. That's great. We currently do not have a single right winger. I know Kuzmenko is left wing slash right wing and shoots right, so probably be on the right side. But regardless, we're going with Nino. And he will be immediately followed up by 2.3 Jeffrey Petri. All right, don't harass me in the comments. I know, it's Petri. Definitely gonna have to check out the handedness of our defenders. We drafted Ekholm, right? And he's left, so gonna go with Ruda and then check after so this doesn't affect my decision. Dobson's right, and Ekholm is left. Awesome. And then we got two righties, so we just need two lefties. Can't be that hard. This will bring our cap space down to right around 10 million, which, you know, for the last seven players can be done, hopefully. Good old Johnny Toes. He's got 92 face-offs and making 775K. The years left is zero, but I think it just gives them one year anyway when that's the case. Well, we're going to find out because I'm drafting him. So I'm just realizing something right now, and this could be bad. So we do have Zed. We have X as well. So pretty much right now, with where we stand after Taves, I must draft the rest of the letters. And unfortunately, that includes the letter U. So I think we're going to be going with Ilya Usau. Oh dear. Arbor Zekai is now gone. So we're going to be getting... Florian Jekai? Well, my confidence for this draft just took a massive hit. I thought I was being careful, but evidently I was not. So it comes down to Vakaninen or Van Riemsdyk. And because Trevor's right-handed, I'm going to be going with this guy. Oh yeah? This is literally perfect. 82 overall, less than a mil. We need right-wingers. This W is a W. 59 overall Florian Jekai. Welcome to the team. Is Dahan left-handed? He is. Okay. So I'm probably going to end up taking him over Zucker, which means for why I want a forward. And how about another right winger? Does that sound any good? Okay. Confidence is starting to go back up a little bit here. We're boosting the morale. Wait, holy crap. I'm so stupid. Last time I checked, 
That does not look like a Zed. We still have two options though, because we've got Zaboral and we've got Zaitsev. Please be left-handed. All right, amazing. Are you left-handed? No, right-handed, but... Nah, I'm gonna keep the handedness. We definitely have a couple players on this roster that stick out like a sore thumb, but you know what? I think the rest can maybe carry the weight. I'm not gonna sit here and confidently say we're gonna be amazing, but you know what? Looking at this group of players, I think we do stand a chance, at least. At minimum, you know? It did give Taves a one-year deal, which is awesome, and now I gotta try and get rid of some players that we did not draft. Like, Nylander, you're gone. Same with you, Miramanov. Don't try to sneak under the radar. So sorting alphabetically, we shouldn't have any letters that are the same here, and I think we are fine. Yeah. Awesome. And just for assurance, we don't have an L or an M here, but in net we sure do. Leonard and Mrazic. Let's put the lines together. Please have chemistry. The first line is a plus five. And they had Kuzmenko on the second line. I kind of want the plus one with Nino though. You know what I'm saying? If things aren't working out, we could always change it after. But I'm going to leave it as is for now. In the last few drafts, we've had some defensive chemistry issues. And we do not have that today. 3-1-0. Immaculate. Robin Leonard and Peter Mrazek, that's a good duo right there. 85-84. You know what? 43 wins and we get in. This is a playoff bound team. Crosby gets the most points with 87. He's going to get his jersey number. I'm pretty sure last time I drafted him I said the same thing, but I'm going with it. The only benefit to some of the later picks we made in that draft were that they're below 27, so they still have a chance to grow in overall throughout the year. Hopefully, maybe I'm just coping. How does a four-game win streak sound? Yep, again, I, why do I ever speak? I should just stop saying anything. I need to record videos without the me part. We're definitely in the fight as of now. Went all the way up to second in our division, but our division almost seems kind of weak because I just saw another one where the leader had 60 points already and we were at 50. The Calgary Flames have fired their head coach, Kenneth Kniff. Unbelievable. Oh no, we're on a skid here. Thank you. We finally got a W. Back-to-back -back wins, but then we go back-to-back -back L's. Can we just win some games in a row here? 31 wins at the trade deadline. We're definitely not out of it. Like looking at the points, we're right there. We also only have 61 games played where some teams have one or two more. Screw it. We'll let Jabroni cook. I will go head coach preferred lines. Kuzmenko up to the second. I got a crazy one for you. I'm not going into the trade deadline. We're skipping it. There are some blockbuster trades to announce, however. San Jose acquiring Horvat and Manson for two firsts and that guy. Mr. Conn Smythe and Jared Spurgeon headed to the Maple Leafs in exchange for a first, Berard and Forsmark. Mackenzie Weger headed back to Calgary with a third in exchange for a first and a second. JT Comfer to San Jose for a first and bow. We got another one. Philip Dano headed to Pity for a first and Goche. They must have made a change in this game because the trade deadlines never used to be this wild. Patty Kane in a six, headed to Tennessee for a first, Stenberg, and a second. Are you serious? Two firsts and Beck, headed to Colorado in exchange for Vinny Trocek, Grizzlick, and a fourth. Don't you dare. Okay, finally. Guys, win hockey games, please. It can't be that difficult. We've got Sydney the Kidney to carry us on his back. Okay, just win out the last three. Nope, that's not how you win out the last three. Well, we didn't qualify. What a joke. I'm just gonna sim up to the Stanley Cup final because we're not in the playoffs and I wanna see who's there so we can view their lines. It is the Oilers and the Tampa Bay Lightning. We ended up with 42 Ws, 89 points, which got a seventh in the Metro. You know what? I feel like... Maybe we did have a good division. The Golden Knights won the President's Trophy with 116, so that's a pretty convincing dub. But I want to see where we sit in the entire league with 89 points. So we're 16. We are literally in the top half. We got finessed. But the 20th placed Minnesota Wild with 86 points get in. Get out of here. Calgary Flames did not have a good time. 63 points, 27 wins. They had McDavid, Forsberg, and Boldy as their first line? With Uyghur, Ekblad, Dumba, York... This is a good hockey team. How does that happen? Right when I think I'm starting to get some kind of understanding of how NHL 24 works, gone. Like a fart in the wind. Crosby performs. He tried to carry the boys on his back. 103 and 42 tucks. Giroux, point of game. Fiala, close to point of game. Giroud was 
A dash 19? What's going on, Johnny? Kuzmenko had 30 goals and 57 points, but was a minus 10. Ew. Dobson putting off a solid performance, being either the first or one of the first times I've drafted him. This feels like our offense was there. Did we struggle in net? Yeah, kind of. I mean, they still had above 900, but like barely. Their stats are eerily similar. 902, 901. 321, 322. Petrie at 37 points, Ekholm 25. Minus 22 and minus 20 is just not gonna cut it. Maybe I could have moved Jan Ruda down and moved Vakaninen up. I don't know, in hindsight. Vasilevsky had 45 wins and a 918 save percentage. I can imagine there's gonna be some hardware going his way. Aiden Hill, 43 dubs, 909. And then Varlamov and Swayman just Barely missed out on the 40 mark. Two defensemen at over pointy game. Evan Bouchard being one of them. Good for you. Adam Fox did lead the charge though with 86. And then we've got Kale McCarr right there. Latang with a nice amount. And your Art Ross winner is Artemi Panarin with 118 points. 114 from Jack Hughes who also got 46 goals. But Kaprizov will get the Rocket Richard. I feel like that's a new one. Brock Nelson had the highest plus minus at plus 49. That is something special. So I decided to check out the President's Trophy winners first. And what am I looking at? What is this? Are you kidding me? This team right here that we're looking at is convincingly the best team in the NHL. I'm not buying it. Eric Carlson playing with Matheson, Romanov, and Bouchard who... Had like 2 million points. They had Andre Vasilevsky, but still. This team is an absolute mystery. One half of the Stanley Cup finalists, the Tampa Bay Lightning, Lucas Raymond. He had a great season this year in real life and I guess clearly in the game as well. He's playing with Bedsy and Toffoli. And then we've got Tara Sank Show with Wild Bill and Kalorn. Pretty good. Sagan is a third line center. Deadly. Okay, this team makes sense. Defensive core looks solid. Their offense was good. And in net, they have 86 overall Talbot. So yeah. And from the West, the Edmonton Oilers, we have the Breadman playing with Tage and Tuck. It's a good line. Granny Smith with Quinton Byfield and Evander Kane. They got some good depth here as well. Defensively, not amazing, but clearly it worked out for them. Aiden Hill will be backed up by Casey DeSmith. Let's see who wins the cup. One game at a time, Tampa Bay takes the lead and... They will not take a two goal, two goal lead, two series, two game, two game lead. There we go. I got there eventually. I just had to show my work. And it will be an Edmonton Oiler victory, making it a 2-1 series in their favor. 3-1. Uh-oh. Tampa Bay not looking too good. And it is closed out. The Edmonton Oilers are your Stanley Cup champions. This man is going to be decorated. 43 points in 22 playoff games. That is just screaming MVP. Tage Thompson got 35 points. Lucas Raymond with 30. This guy was lights out. 920 save percentage, 255 GAA, and a Stanley Cup with two shutouts as well. And how about Douglas Hamilton being point a game in the playoffs? 22 games, 22 points. I'm not even gonna show the team awards today because we already know them all. The Breadman keeps the Art Hart combo intact. Adam Fox with the Norris. Patrick Kane gets the Lady Bing and Benzie with the Calder because of course. Panarin with a well-deserved Conn Smythe. Like that was just insane. What a simulation he had. Vasilevsky gets the Vesna and the Jennings. Ekblad scooping up the Bill Masters. Poof. I'm not gonna know if I had to guess I feel like what well obviously one of them has to be silent and I'm gonna say that it's the letter D so I'm gonna go with Georgievich tell me how wrong I am Barkov has the Selkie because of course could have drafted him but didn't Panarin with the Lindsay as well, and oh yeah, I forgot the Rocket Richard went to Kaprizov. Good for you, Kirill the Thrill. Your playoff tree. Tampa Bay went to seven in the first round, and then five, five, and then five, but not in their favor. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you could leave a like and subscribe, that would be absolute fire. If you perform this draft, let me know how yours went in the comments, or if you have draft ideas, let me know. But on that note, I'll see you soon.